Hello and welcome back to our channel. This is Nettie from Nettie's Hair Teak and I am back with part two of my custom wig making video. So I have two 10 inch bundles and I am going to double one of the bundles for now. So if you watch part one, we already created our foundation. We um, put the closure on, made our guidelines, but now it's time to sew on the bundles. So I am doubling this one bundle and I'm showing you here. Those are the um, stitch patterns that I'm using. I use uh, number four length, uh, width is number six and tension is number five. I do use a Singer Heavy Duty and those are the settings that I use. And I have an open toe press a foot. I always use that to see what I'm doing. It just makes everything easier. And you want your um, double weft to look exactly like that. You want the weft to be um, parallel to each other. You don't want them doubled on top of each other. That way they can lay nice and flat onto your client's wig cap. And I'm just showing you here, I have my um, bundle and you can see how long my bundle is. So I know that, especially for this small size head that I'm doing, that I'm going to have to triple um, these um, bundles to fit all of the hair onto the cap. So this is a good um, way for you to measure out to see um, how you're going to, um, what you need to do to fit the hair onto your client's head. Um, you can just use the lines to map out the um, hair. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna triple the bundle. I used to triple it first and then sew it down, but I changed the way that I do it and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So I'm gonna start with my first line and I have my double bundle. And you wanna sew with it faced up so you can see the stitching where you stitch the, um, when you double the bundle. All right, so I'm going to put it close to the end of the cap without going over, make my first stitches to lock it in place, and then I'm going to do my back stitching. Once I do that a few times, I'm going to take my track and I'm gonna show you, I'm just taking the, the track, the weft, okay? I'm making sure that that area is just straightened out. And then I'm going to lay it across my line and just sew. When I get to the other end, I'm gonna cut it at an angle, make sure nothing is hanging over, and then I'm going to um, back stitch that as well, get that nice and secure and flat to the cap. And I'm just showing you the knob that's on the side of the machine. That's the knob that controls your needle. I always reset it after every track. So when I'm done, I just turn that knob towards me just to put my need, just to reposition my needle back into place. That way, when I'm going to sew the next track, my needle is, um, you know, back into, back in place, ready to go. So that's my first track. Nice and neat. So down to the cap. And then I'm going to add um, my next um, track to that. So I'm going to grab my other bundle that I did not double. And I'm going to add a single weft to this um, double track. So I have a single weft. I'm just gonna push it to the end, get it under my machine, lock it in place. And all I'm doing is attaching that single weft to the double track. That's it. I'm gonna take it, place it right there and just attach it. And I started doing it like this for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I think it's just, it lays neater on the cap. Two, I do save thread instead of um, tripling it beforehand and then sewing it down, I'm using more thread. And I like the way it looks. I think it just looks neater and you know, it lays flat, flatter. And I'll show you how it looks once I'm done. Make sure I do my um, back stitching at the end, lock it down, make it flat. Set 
So I'm sewing down my next weft and I'm going to do this ex the same exact thing. I sold down my double um, weft and now I have the single weft and I'm just going, going to attach it to um, triple it to make a triple uh, weft. And I'm going to show you, I, I thought I was, I thought I showed you um, when I did the first one, but I didn't. I believe I show you um, how it looks after I finish with this track. And I apologize um, for my hands being in the way for some scenes. I know you, it's hard to see. I was trying to keep my camera position. I do do a few close-ups, a couple of close-ups so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I just attached that single weft to my double track, making it a triple track. And now I'm going to put it onto my canvas head. And this is something you can do, especially when you're learning. Um, you want to place it onto your back onto your canvas head just to make sure that everything is laying flat and that your cap is still stretching. So that looks nice and neat. It is nice and flat. And I'm going to go ahead and continue. Okay, so I did sew a couple of um, lines off um, camera just to save some time. I'm just doing the same exact thing all the way up. So I'm like in the middle of the, um, the wig now and I am doing the same exact thing. I am still tripling my tracks. So now that I finished tripling my tracks, that bundle is done and I'm going to take the rest of my second bundle and I'm going to double um, most of it. So now I'm starting with my um, second bundle, which is just double and I'm going to um, use the double wefts for the rest of the wig, except for when I get to the closure, I'm going to place a single track there. And when you're working with your weft, you want to just concentrate on the area that you're working with. Just make sure that the cap is flat, that it's not bunched up, and you want to make sure that it's flat on both sides of the weft. All right, so now I am sewing that single track around um, the closure. That's going to be my last track. I always single it and I always attach it to my closure. That is definitely a preference. You do not have to do that. Um, you can just sew it right behind the closure, close to it without attaching it. It's up to you. All right, so now I am done. I pretty much sewed the majority of both of the uh, bundles onto the small cap. That's all I had left was that little piece. And then I'm just gonna attach my elastic band. And then this wig is gonna be um, constructed, finished. And then I'm gonna cut the extra cap from underneath the closure to expose the lace. And you want to be careful when you're doing this part. You don't want to cut, um, you know, the closure itself or, you don't, you know, the thread or anything like that. So just take your time and do that. And this is it. This is the completed um, wig. And now she is just ready to be styled.
All right, guys, so stay tuned for part three where I'm going to be plucking and styling this unit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.